this is my food for uh, my breakfast, my morning snack, my lunch, and my afternoon snack. I won't be filming dinner tonight because it is going to be the same thing that you see here with an additional power fuel. Um, what I have here is same as what I ate yesterday for dinner, except one less power fuel. I have the brown rice um, gluten-free spaghetti, which does have two grams of fiber, so it is a smart carb. I have uh, two, and also my marinara sauce is on there, and which is free, and it is a vegetable. It's a half cup, or almost a vegetable, half a vegetable. Anyway, but then there's extra, um, can't see, this is a really big bowl. There's a lot of broccoli in there. So between the broccoli and the tomato sauce, I'm going to go with it. It's two veggies. What else I have in here is my baked salmon um, and my baked shrimp, which I basically use cooking spray, a scant amount of panko breadcrumbs on top, and my garlic and herb. Mrs. Dash. And that is at least 120 calories. I can't tell you the weights on it because I did it last night and I truly forgot. I'm sorry. But it's easy enough to figure out if you look at a salmon package and you look at shrimp. Um, anyway, the panko I'm going to add as an extra, but I really don't even have to. It's not really an extra. So back to what am I eating for breakfast? I'm going to have my Kellogg's chocolate peanut butter protein meal bar and I'll give you the nutritional facts here Let me get this carrots out of the way all right it's one and one point five nine ounces five grams of fat four and a half saturated fat 19 carbs 190 calories so this is truly a smart carb with five grams of fiber and a power fuel put together because when you do the calories um, you get one of each it works out actually there's more protein in here technically you could have this for dinner but I no, not really the calories don't make it I apologize for saying that I was wrong anyway so I'm gonna have this with the rest of my coffee with my splash of almond milk I do count a cup of almond milk a day um, sometimes it's an extra sometimes it's an overage depending on how many extras I used one cup of carrots is going to be another vegetable, which everybody by now knows I enjoy the eating raw carrots with my bars. For my morning snack, I'm having another Fair Life, and this I will have the extra 30 calories in this count as an extra. Um, it's full of good stuff. It has two and a half grams of fat. It has um, one and a half saturated fat, four grams of carbs, one dietary fiber, and 30 grams of protein so if there was another 30 calories of this here this would make a meal replacement okay moving on I talked to you about this already this is my anti-inflammatory water which is um, a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with the mother and a teeny 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 bit of cayenne like so teeny you can't describe it and an eighth of a teaspoon of turmeric I have the organic ground and an eighth of a teaspoon of ginger with ice delicious very refreshing in summer if you don't like the ginger the turmeric and the cayenne it's still beneficial to have with just lemon and apple cider vinegar as long as you put stevia in it which I do one packet of the raw organic moving on to my afternoon snack, I'm having a small carb worth of strawberries. I can't remember how much it weighed, but it is about 100 calories worth. I'm having this non-fat Greek yogurt, um, black cherry on the bottom. It's Friendly Farms from Aldi. And I will tell you, oops, okay. Your nutrition facts, it's 150 grams, it's 110 calories zero fat, zero saturated fat, 13 carbs, less than one fiber, and 11 grams of protein. So this is a power fuel to go along with the afternoon small carb. And on that note, I will not see you for dinner because I'm only, I probably said this, being repetitive here, having the same amount of food that you see right here, minus the broccoli, I'm probably gonna add a salad. 
and an additional power fuel worth of the fish and shrimp. Okay, I will see you back for dessert this evening. For my dessert tonight, it's not really a dessert because it's savory, but I always call these my dessert. So we'll stick with that, right? Okay, I'm having these zesty snack mix, which are really quite good. And let me see if I can see. It's one ounce bag. And it's 110 calories. It has four and a half grams of fat, one and a half saturated fat, 15 carbs, four fibers, and six grams of protein. And what I'm going to do is uh, have this with two cheese sticks. I really like savory, crunchy stuff with cheese sticks. Unless I'm having it with fruit. Okay. So that does it for today. I want to thank everyone very much for watching. If you enjoyed the contents of the video today, please give me a thumbs up. I see that I have 39% of my viewers who have not yet subscribed. I would love it if you did. I have 87 subscribers as of now. So 13 people from now, I'll be sending out my free giveaway and I can't wait to do that. And as always, I appreciate everyone's support, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye now.